Hi friends, welcome to my sewing room. Today I'm going to be making a small little drawstring backpack. This one's pretty small. It's for a three-year-old granddaughter. And um, she likes to go on hikes. Go to the park. It's big enough for a snack and a bottle of water. So to make this little backpack, you're going to need a piece of fabric that is nine inches by 23 inches or thereabouts. You're going to need a couple of drawstrings. I have some nylon cording here that's two pieces 36 inches long. And you'll need a little safety pin to pull that cording through the casing when we get it sewn in. And some pins. All right. To begin, I'm going to turn my bag, fold it with the right sides together. And as you can see, my piece of fabric, I pieced it along the bottom. I used two pieces and put them together so that my the long piece would be 23 inches. I had this cute fabric that I liked, but it wasn't long enough, so I just pieced it. And what I'm going to do is starting from the opening on the top, I'm going to start at three inches down. I'm going to just mark it with my finger right here on this brown line. And I'm going to start sewing there on the side. All the, not all the way to the bottom. I'm going to leave a space open on the bottom here. Let's see. There we go. Leave a little space at the bottom. I'm going to be putting some ties, poking the ties out there. So on the other side, I'm going to measure three inches again. And that should be on that brown line again. Since it's a stripe, it's the same place. Okay, let's go down. Leave a little opening at the bottom. My opening is about an inch and a half or two. We're going to close that up later. Now we're going to make the casing for the ties up here on the top. First, I'm going to fold in one edge on the side. You can do this at your ironing board too if you want. And this edge is going to be folded in two. It might be easier if you do it at the ironing board. Just a quarter inch to a half an inch. Fold that raw edge in and then fold it one more time for your casing. And your casing is going to be about an inch and a half. There. So I'm going to pin along here. I'm going to try to get those raw edges in again. They want to poke out. Fold that raw edge in. Pin again. Okay, now I have one of the casings pinned. All I need to do is sew across. You need to make sure that you don't have this back piece in the way. You're going to do that one next. Mm. If you're using a dark color, you'll want to have some dark thread to kind of blend in with your project. And I should be back stitching at each end to keep this nice and sturdy. Okay, here we are on the other side. Fold in that raw edge. Fold this over however you can do it and fold that raw edge in and pin it. I'm going to get that other one out of the way. I'm going to fold that back so it doesn't get in the way. Raw edges in on the side and that, turn that under, fold it over and pin. Make sure that's folded back so it doesn't get in your way when you're sewing across. And my fold came out. 
that's what happens. It gets a little, a little bit fiddly, I call it. Fold it in there, back stitch, and sew across. And do another little back stitch. All right, we are ready to put our drawstring in. So let's take one. I'm going to put a little knot in mine. This is nylon cording. I saw that I've seen at the store they have um, cotton like macrame cord, any kind of string to pull through for your bag. All right, when I, you go through one, you just turn it around and come back through the other casing on the other side. All right, there's one. I'm gonna get my second drawstring. Put a little knot in there. Alright, since I went in and out on this side over here on the left, I'm going to start here on the right and go in and out on this side. You're going out on that left and right in here. Coming right back the other way in the other casing. Pushing that safety pin through. All right, take the safety pin out. You should have Two strings coming out both sides. Pull it and see if you've done it correctly. And I bet you did. So line the two ends up on this one. And I'm going to put them right through the inside, the right side out there, inside this bag. And I'm going to poke them out here. So they should be coming out the bottom. They, this is the, the string started right here and they're poking out this bottom. And I'm going to pin them right there. Let them hang out just a little bit. I need to put my hand in there and get them situated because I want them to be even. I'm going to pin that one and then I'm going to take these two, even them up, put them inside and poke them out this bottom and pin them right there. I only have two little stitches left to add, one, one here and one here, and I'm going to go back and forth a couple times so it's nice and sturdy. I want these to be right down there. And there you have it. We've done all the stitching that we need to do. You just need to turn it right side out. Poke the corners out. And you have a cute little drawstring bag. This bag measures about 8 inches by 7 inches. Perfect for your little hiker. Thanks for joining me in my sewing room today.